Michigan's longest serving U.S. Senator Carl Levin passed away last night at the age of 87. He had battled lung cancer after retiring from Congress back in 2015. Rod Maloney spent the day talking to people who knew him best. So many memories being shared by so many today, Rod. Yeah, Devin, you know, we're here at the Ira Kaufman Funeral Home in Southfield where the family held a private funeral for him today. And we're told that there's going to be a public uh, memorial for Carl Levin later on down the line here. The family wanted to make sure that they took care of this uh, right away as per their religious uh, their uh, religious belief. Now, in the meantime, uh, we spoke with Debbie Dingle, among other people, uh, because she and her husband, of course, have known the Levins for a very long time. And she was kind enough to talk to us from the airport in Washington today, which is why she was wearing a mask. Carl Levin served six Senate terms, the longest run of any Michigan senator. He served alongside the nation's longest serving congressman, John Dingell. Debbie Dingell, who succeeded John, says that she and John were part of the Levin family. They were so close, declaring Michigan lost a giant last night. He was famous for his rumpled suit. He didn't care what he looked like, nor did John Dingell for that matter. And his glasses at the end of the nose. But he was one of the smartest men I knew, the most prepared knew every detail, and that's how he could hold people accountable. Carl served as chair of the Senate Subcommittee on Investigations. The man who succeeded Carl Levin was Senator Gary Peters. He told Local 4 Today the Wayne State University Levin Center is dedicated to that kind of government service that Carl Levin did so ably. As government officials and folks in the Senate have an obligation to, to speak truth to power. And that's what Carl always did. He was speaking truth to power and he was armed with the facts. And Congresswoman Dingell reminds us how Levin's fingerprints are on so much around the state. From the riverfront to buildings in Detroit, to the Defense Center in Warren, to the Great Lakes, to the International Wildlife Refuge, northern important environmental scenes. Carl Levin touched so many things, and what he did will be there for generations to come. Now, President Joe Biden put out this statement this afternoon for his late friend, quote, for 30 years, Carl Levin and I served together in the United States Senate. He was one of the most honorable and decent people I've ever known. Brilliant, humble, and principled, Carl earned the trust of his constituents and colleagues by doing the work. He studied the issues in detail. He forged consensus across the aisle. Jill and I send our love to his beloved Barbara, their children, and grandchildren. And also this afternoon, they spoke glowingly of Carl Levin on the Senate floor, uh, hearing from the likes of Patrick Leahy of Vermont and even Chuck Schumer, the majority leader, talking about their longtime friend who has now passed. Reporting live in Southfield, Rod Mello. Local four. Respect from uh, just about all sides, even those who disagreed with him politically over the years. All right, Rod.